The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, and they said, Where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. Now when King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him. So assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, the Magi set out, and behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them, until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then. They opened their treasures. They offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their own countries by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. In 1948, President Harry Truman came to Malden, Massachusetts, which is my hometown. I was 10. People spoke about it as if it were a great event because it was. Why? because the head of state was visiting our little city. And shortly after the president left, after his little railroad visit, because that's what it was, he gave a speech off the back of a train. And he departed, and since that time, no other president of the United States has ever come to Malden, Massachusetts. And so what did the citizens do? They put up a plaque to commemorate the head of state's visit. In a sense, that visit of a head of state was an epiphany. He came and made himself known to the citizens of Malden. Now admittedly a campaign was going on, but that's almost beside the point. The point is, he came, he was made known to the people, and after he left, they hammered up a plaque to commemorate this event because it didn't happen very often. Well, the same thing is true today. 
This is an epiphany for us. Not of a head of state, but instead the manifestation of Jesus who is the king of the world. And so while we don't have plaques in many different places, we celebrate this event again and again and again. And the actual feast day, which is January the 6th, the church has moved it to Sunday, so we will all have an opportunity to celebrate it. On January the 6th, in the Eastern churches, our Orthodox brothers and sisters in particular celebrate this day as the manifestation of Jesus to the whole world, which it is. But it is also for many of them their Christmas. And because the kings brought small gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh to Jesus, so too is the custom in those countries to give children their Christmas gifts on January the 6th. So today is a special day, a very important day, because it is the day in which Jesus is manifested to the whole world. And so we listen to what it is that the scriptures are saying to us. And what is it that we hear? We hear from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Jerusalem, rise up in splendor. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. Rise up, Jerusalem. Isaiah is saying to this people in exile, because remember, Isaiah was the prophet of the Babylonian exile. And he is saying to the people, rise up, your light has come. And when it comes, everybody will be moving to Jerusalem, for there you will find a home. And so he goes on to say, nations shall walk by your light and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look around you. So Isaiah is promising that in a certain time, the light of Christ will draw all peoples who are Jewish to Jerusalem. And there they will celebrate the great gifts of God. And not only will the Jews come home, but all nations will be moving toward Jerusalem. He says, caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Epha, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. 